episode is brought to you by Reva Kumar, Doctor in Vastu. पहले जिंदगी ऐसी नहीं थी, पर अब सब कुछ बदल गया है. मेरा बेटा एक successful businessman है. मेरी बहू और बच्चे बहुत खुश हैं. और रीतू और मैं आराम की जिंदगी जी रहे हैं. हमें जिंदगी से और क्या चाहिए? Thanks to Reva Ji of Divine Vastu. Call Reva Kumar Vastu Specialist or visit divinevastu.net. Hi everyone, it's my honor and pleasure to have Mr. Sandeep Nath all the way from Mumbai. He is a poet, a writer, a lyricist, a journalist, a lawyer, and so much more, including a director and producer and screenwriter. Please welcome to the Bay Area. Inaugurating the fest here is Mr. Sandeep Nath. Mr. Nath, welcome to the Bay Area. It's such a pleasure and honor to meet a distinguished writer such as yourself. Thank you, and uh, it's an honor for me to be here. And uh, I'm with you because of this uh, Fog Festival, which is going to be held in uh, uh, August. So, and I'm enjoying. I'm f- and one thing I would like to say: the Pradesh me this. I'm feeling like I'm in India. So, and this this credit goes to all Indians who live here. And I'm getting a lot of love, affection. And when I see they are discussing my songs, I'm get more excited because uh, in India it's natural. But it, when I uh, find people involved so much into my work here, so def- it is definitely a new experience for me. So I'm very excited and very delighted to be here. What were some of those early moments in your life that gave you encouragement? Uh, I started writing at the age of 12, but nobody, but it came in the knowledge of my mom at the age of 16. Okay. So I used to get some old diaries and used to write some small, small poems into that. One day my mom uh, find that diaries and she told me, is it written by you? Mm-hmm. And I go, yeah, I've tried. Mm-hmm. So then change the line, put this line here and put this line there. It will sound better. And that was the day that changed my life and slowly, slowly I, I entered into poetry and I started expressing my feelings through my poetry and the journey started. So at that time when you were 12, between 12 and 16, what were the subject of that you used to write about? Ha, it's a very interesting yeah. question because at that time I'm not, I was a young kid so I used to write generally patriotism, it is 15th mm-hmm. August or like that, about the sports, play, what I have done in that day. Actually in spite of writing a diary or all the day experiences you used to write in a rhyming way. Okay. That was a very amateurish kind of writing. But that was a poetry, a kind of poetry. Yes. When I was 18, I got a book called Sai Me Dhup, which was written by Dushant Kumar. I was at that time in Bijnor, a small district in Uttar Pradesh, and originally Dushant Kumar ji belonged to uh, Bijnor. So he, that book changed my life. There was some share, ki kaun kehta hai asman mein chhed nahi ho sakta, ek patthar to tabiyat se uchhalo yaro. Wo kisi rail si guzarti hai, aur main kisi pul sa thar thar aata hoon. So these are his verses. So I have a desire ki, ki ek din mein aisa likh sakoon. So after that I start thinking in a different way and that changed my way of expression uh, through words. Then I start reading a lot of poets from Mirza Ghalib to uh, Dushyant Kumar. Simon Desli there was a huge film songs are there. The old film songs have you must have heard them and lots of philosophy and poetry is there. So I'm got inspired from them also. Sahir and so many other Sahir older. Sahib, Shailendra Ji, Majru Sahib, Shakil Badayuni, you just name, name. all our great poets. Yeah. And uh, our old 60s or 70s music is you know and the lyrics are full of philosophy. Even in romance there was a lot of philosophy there. Mm-hmm. So that both the things inspired me a lot. And I think today if I'm in Bollywood and I'm doing uh, whatever so that is because of that of course starting out as a young person uh, and you beca- when you became an adult and you wanted to take writing up as a profession I know you've done law and you've also done journalism so how did that start that was a tough decision but uh, I always go with my inner instinct when I was lawyer in Delhi and I was doing well and I, I was a journalist simultaneously at the time, my two books were published there. One is Muchko Kuch Bhi Naam Do, mm-hmm. is a collection of poetry. And second one is Darpana Bhi Anda Hai. Is, it is a collection of Hindi ghazals. There was something is going in my mind because a lot of time I used to write something. I thought if it will be in a film or it will, it will go to more pe- people because whatever you write in a book, it goes to thousands or lakhs of people. But if you write in Bollywood, it goes to crores of people, millions of people. 
एंड आई हैव अ ग्रेट इंटरेस्ट इन टू बॉली फिल्म टू टेल स्टोरीज दैट इज द रीजन आई थॉट कि आई कैन ट्राई इन बॉलीवुड बिकॉज टू एंटर इन बॉलीवुड इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट थिंग टू हाउ टू डी कोड द ऑर्बिट आई डोंट नो एंड आई हैव नो कनेक्शन देयर बिकॉज आई एम फ्राम अ स्मॉल विलेज फ्राम देयर आई केम टू दिल्ली एंड नाउ नेक्स्ट एंड सो टू कम टू बॉलीवुड दैट वॉज अ ड्रीम बट इफ देर इज अ विल देर इज अ वे सो I came to Bombay and luckily Bombay supported me a lot. I met correct people and within 2 3 years of time I got the break into big big films and uh, the journey is continuous. So who was who were one of the a few people that you met initially that you know gave you that break? Uh Manisha Koirala ji uh, I'm always she's a great lady. She gave me the first break and Simon I was actually I was so lucky I have signed two films in the first day. Bhoot of Mr. Ram Gopal Verma yes, and yes. Paisa Vasool of Manisha Koirala. She was a producer also. Okay. She has acted in the in that film simultaneously. She was a producer of that film. So okay. one day she called me and told me yeah, we are planning to a film and I think you should write the okay. lyrics of the film. So I thought she's just. You mean the screenplay? The whole no, the, the lyrics of the film, the songs. Oh, yeah. And from there my journey started, okay. and uh, now I am almost six, seventy films done. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. So, yes. which are some of the ones that are close to your heart? I know it's hard. They're all your babies. It's hard to pick one. All songs are close to my heart, but generally, which song is adopted by the audience? Actually, that becomes more uh, closer to my heart also because there is a song called "Kitne Aji Bishte Hain Yahan Pe," two pal milte hain, saath saath chalte hain. जब मोड़ आए कितनी अजीब रिश्ते हैं यहाँ पे कितनी अजीब रिश्ते हैं यहाँ पे दो पल मिलते हैं साथ साथ चलते हैं दो पल मिलते हैं साथ साथ चलते हैं जब मोड़ आए तो बच के निकलते हैं कितनी अजीब रिश्ते हैं यहाँ पे कितने Hey yahan pe About that song I want to mention something because everybody who works in uh, Bollywood he has a desire to work with Lata, Lata ji she is a living legend yes. Bharat Ratna So but when I entered in Bollywood at that time she was almost 75 years old hmm. So I was thinking if I could get any chance to work with her So again I say if there is a dream so almighty listens that so one day i got a call from mr madhur bandarkar's office and uh, they told me and i he i met him and he told me i'm making a film called page 3 and somebody told me that you are a journalist you were a journalist and my this film uh, the story of my film uh, 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 evolves uh, uh, around the journalist so that's why i called you and uh, i have a so i need a song which depicts the uh, theme of the film so he narrated me the story and from there one re- word come rishta the word the the equation of the relationship hmm. and from there this uh, word line came in my mind kitne ajeeb rishte hain yahan pe welcome back to satare thank you for joining me we're talking to mr sandeep nath all the way from mumbai so i have wrote all the songs in page 3 all five songs there was a song called huzur huzur allah sang by asha ji then and another songs after that he made a movie called corporate there is a very big hit song called o sikandar o sikandar o sikandar jhakle jhakle apne dil ke andar so that was uh, another big hit and hmm. nowadays even today kailash kher my friend yes. <laughs> sings that song in every program yeah. then he made a film called jail so i have done one song into that film but the main challenge came in my in front of me uh, working with mr bhandarkar when he was making a film called fashion so at that time what happened all the songs were written by somebody else but the title song uh, was not <coughs> getting cracked so he called me ki i think you are the person who can write that song and there is no clue how to write a song on fashion okay. what i should i write fashion 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 <laughs> what can how can i write a song fashion where to start where to finish so he then he <coughs> take me somewhere to i was i, I and mr madhur bandarka made some fashion designers then some models then slowly slowly and salim suleiman already has made a tune yes. ta 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 that was the uh, formation of the tune 
सो धन वर्ड धुन पे गाना लिखा धुन पे गाना लिखा था हमेशा ऐसे ही लिखते हैं ज्यादातर ज्यादातर इसीलिए फिल्मों के लिए गीत लिखना बहुत मुश्किल होता है क्योंकि कवि तो अपने मन की बात लिख सकता है लेकिन सिनेमा में अक्सर धुन पे लिखना होता है तो देन दैट लाइन केम इन टू माई माइंड जिसमों का है ये जलवा किस्मों का है ये जलवा शहरत भी दे ये जलवा मकसद भी दे ये जलवा दिलकश लगे ये जलवा महकश लगे ये जलवा नशा ही नशा ये जलवा मजा ही मजा ये जलवा आग सी रवानियाँ देती हैं लेती हैं जब अंगड़ाइयाँ ये जला दे दिलों में चीज आ जाए चलो देखते हैं फैशन का जलवा गाना इस बात पे जरूर Talk about your journey with um, Savaria. That film is phenomenal, and your song in it is phenomenal, and you're associated with uh, Sanjay Lila Bansali ji. Talk about writing that song and some of the interesting things about that. Uh, Mr. Sanjay Lila Bansali, you know, he made a film called Black. It got 11 Filmfare Awards, and after that, he was making a film called Savaria, and it was a launching film for Ranbir Kapoor and Sonam Kapoor, along with Mr. Salman Khan and Rani Mukherjee. Five big names were associated in that film. And when I got a call from Mr. Sanjay Lila Bansali's office, I entered there, and the music director of that film called Manti Sharma, he was my old friend. So Sanjay ji told me, "Dekho, mera ek gana hai, Chand Chupa Badal mein for Ham Dil Dil Jo Ke Sanam. I have again want to create a song on moon. There is a moon is very important object in that song. So I need a better song than that, and it's a challenge. I said I will try my level best." and he doesn't disclose his script so much he's a very that kind of director he doesn't interact too much okay. to the point he will say something so then i started thinking lot of things how to start how to start what to write then the, the line came in my mind yu shabnami pehle nahi thi chandni chand wo bharma gaya tujhko dekha to sharma gaya wo churane laga hai nazar yu shabnami पहले नहीं थी चांदनी चांद वो भरमा गया तुझको देखा तो शर्मा गया वो चुराने लगा है नजर देखो चांद When you write any of these songs, do you follow a particular meter, pattern? Yeah. What is your pattern? कोशिश करता हूँ कि जब भी मैं लिखूँ इसलिए मीटर मीटर का ज्ञान होना बहुत जरूरी है और मीटर का ज्ञान खुद ब खुद आता है ये पढ़ के नहीं सीखा जाता तक मुझे लगता है साहब वो एक ईयर होना चाहिए ईयर होना चाहिए वो एक कॉमन सेंस होता है और एक सेंस होता है जो डेवलप हो जाता है आपके अंदर सो जैसे शेक्सपियर की सोनत्स हैं दे हैव वन क्वाट्रेन सेकेंड क्वाट्रेन थर्ड क्वाट्रेन इन कपलेट राइट उनका हर एक जितनी भी सोनेट्स है सबका स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मेट है तो जनरली हिंदी गानों में या जो आपके गाने हैं आपके कोई एक गाने का ये जो ये गाना है जिस बारे में हम बात करें इसका फॉर्मेट क्या है अच्छा नहीं इसका देखिए अब मैं इसके बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन पूछा आपने और ये क्वेश्चन पहली बार पूछा गया है मैं आपको बताता हूँ छंद कैसे होता है लोग सोचते हैं छंद का मतलब तुकांत होता है यानी राइमिंग को मिलाने को छंद कहते हैं मैं आपको एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ तू जो मेरे सुर में सुर मिला ले संग गा ले तो जिंदगी हो जाए सफल तो सफल राइम नहीं कर रहा है लेकिन उसका जो वजन है वो बराबर गिर रहा है तू जो मेरे सुर में सुर मिला ले संग गा ले तो जिंदगी हो जाए सफल तो सफल के साथ मिलता हुआ कोई राइमिंग वर्ड नहीं है लेकिन ये सम पे गिरता है आके 
तो इसी तरीके से जितने भी लेकिन कभी कभी कानों के कट्स वाले अलग बनते हैं जैसा हमारे पुराने एस डी बर्मन साहब थे वो बहुत अलग से कट्स बनाते थे इवन रहमान साहब क्योंकि वो तमिल में सोचते हैं वो हिंदी में सोचते नहीं हैं तो उनके कट्स बहुत अलग तरह के होते हैं और उसमें गुलजार साहब या जो उनके साथ काम करते हैं उनको ऐसा फिट करते हैं कि वो करेक्ट जाता है जैसे मैं एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ कि छैया छैया गाना था एक्चुअली छैया छैया गाने का अगर आप छंद देखेंगे तो अलग था गाने का मतलब है चलो प्यार की छाँव में चलते हैं बट उसको मिलाने के लिए छंद के साथ गुलजार साहब ने उसको पहले चल छैया 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 चल छैया 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 चल छैया 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 तो इस तरह से बनाया तो ये छंद का ज्ञान होने से ये फायदे होते हैं With Mr. Ram Gopal Verma, you have a long association with working with him in over nine films, and of course with Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Talk about that association. Oh, actually, my first film, which was released in 2003, that was Bhut, which was directed by Mr. Ram Gopal Verma. Generally, he make different kind of films. There is no big scope for the songs. He has made Rangila. Don't definitely it was a musical film. But as far as Sarkar is concerned, it is very close to my heart because I had a dream to work with Mr. Mitab Bachchan. Grown up to watching his films, so uh, one day I got a call from Mr. Go uh, Ram Gopal Verma's office, and uh, you just wherever you are, you come come fast to the office. And when I entered in the office, I just saw a big poster there. Mr. Bachchan is there in a black cloth, and he was just putting his hands and his is a um, glass on his. Eyes and there's a tikka and there's a trudraksh mala in his hand. Different kind of getup. I've never seen that. So what is that? And there was a red sarkar. I'm making a film sarkar. There was a sequence in the film when somebody comes to him and says, "Ki I want this and that," and he says, "Nahi, main wo karta hu jo mujhe acha lagta hai." That kind of dialogues come. Then one idea came in my mind. He behaves like a Lord Krishna. He's a very practical man. Simultaneously, he's a very patriot also. सो आई टोल्ड कि सर मुझे लगता है कि यू नो ये इनके लिए कुछ गोविंद गोविंद दैट देन वर्ड गोविंद केम इन माई माइंड एंड इट विल कंटिन्यूसली से गोविंद 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 इट विल साउंड गोविंदा 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 एंड फ्रॉम देयर एक्चुअली द सॉन्ग इज शहर शहर के हजारों सवाल सवाल जिनके ना कोई है जवाब एंड देर इज अ लास्ट चैंटिंग इन दैट गोविंदा 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 बिल्कुल होगा जब यहाँ से लेके वहाँ तक सारी मेरी जगह When the film Ashiki came out, it was such a phenomenal hit with young, fresh talent. You know, Rahul Roy and the young, the young lady in the, at that time, Nadim Shravan. New music. It was yes, yes. It was a new style of music and very popular. So when you got the offer to write songs for Ashiki two, that's a big challenge. And it was even, I think, it was amazing. The the music is amazing, and of course, the writing is phenomenal, which gives birth to everything. Um, Talk about that journey with uh, Ashiki too. First Ashiki came at that time I was in school, so I remember I, I used to buy the cassette. I bought three cassettes of uh, that uh, film because first cassette I play, played so many times that uh, that was damaged. Then I bought another cassette. Then I bought another cassette. So all the songs were in my pulse. Even till date, it is in my pulse. After I think 25 years or 20 years, I got an call from Mr. Mahesh Bhatt's office, and we are making Ashiki 2, and I want you to write songs in that film. So at that time, more or less, their songs were already done, but they was looking for a main song which will the start the film and which will depict the character also. So before that, I was working in a film called Sahabi Bhatt Gangster, which was made by Tegmanshu Dhulia, and in that film there were five music directors. I am the only lyricist, okay. and in five of them there was a new guy called Angit Tiwari. Yes. So after that film, I and Angit used to meet and uh, used to make some songs. So uh, we have already made a song. That was a Muchko Iradhe De Kasme De Vade De. Sundaena Tu Ro Ra Ho Main. The Mukhda was already made. 
देन ही गे मी द ब्रीफ टू राइट अंतराज मुझको इरादे दे कस्मे दे वादे दे मेरी दुआओं के इशारों को सहारे दे दिल को ठिकाने दे नए बहाने दे ख्वाबों की बारिशों को मौसम के पैमाने दे इस गाने के लिए मुझे आइफा में नॉमिनेशन भी मिला था मैं पिछले साल आपके टैम्पा फ्लोरिडा में आया था इस गाने के लिए अच्छा ओ माय गॉड अच्छा हमारी मुलाकात नहीं हो पाई तो अब इसके बाद मेरी काफ़ी फिल्में आ रही हैं अभी रिसेंटली अलोन करके फिल्म आई है अभी पाशा बासु जी की फिर रॉय अभी पिछले महीने ही आई है रणबीर कपूर जी के साथ और काफ़ी फिल्मों का लंबा लाइनअप है After writing about 70 feature films and five TV series and so many songs, where is your career headed now? Kavita ji, I'm just thinking, writing, and going on. Life should be like a water; it should, it should flow and flow. That's it. So, I'm working, writing, enjoying. Where to go? I don't know. It's a journey which is going on. Always, every day, I wake up and start thinking to create some new thing. and when it gets happen i feel happy and then again next day again new thing to conceive new thing and to deliver a new thing it's journey is going on i don't know ye safar kahan tak chalega hum to musafir hain thank you so much it was such a pleasure to talk to you and i know i tell this to all the writers uh, writers are my favorite they're my favorite genre they give birth to songs uh, films scripts everything for screenwriting and your contribution to bollywood over the years has been immense um so thank you so much and it was a pleasure meeting you it's thank my you my pleasure thanks a lot uh, to calling me in the studio and uh, it's definitely uh, next time again i i would love to come and to interact and to talk about bollywood and my work thanks a lot thank you so much mr nath thank you. this episode was brought to you by reva kumar Doctor in Vastu This